Hello, this is a guide to chamber on ascent. Um, I'm gonna just do... I'm not sure how quick it's gonna be, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I'm gonna go over its rendezvous, I think. Um, for defense side, and then I'll just like, work my way around the map, I think. Um, so the first rendezvous I always do, or I, I do a lot, is this one. Um, um, sometimes I place it a bit differently, but... It, this is like the the normal one, so uh, let me get my ult. Oh no, clipping. Um, <clears throat> okay, so generally a lot of chambers will just post like this. I see a lot of it, a lot of this, and oh, well, this can be good. Like some rounds, you know, you, you can actually do this sometimes, especially with the off or your ult. Um, if if you know, like, if you have a read, like this could be clear, or or or, or for instance, you you are watching it like this, and then. There's no one here, you get calls like maybe they're tiles, maybe they're A. Even tiles is fine because um, uh, you can still work up and maybe you'll get a kill here on this angle. Or you might get a kill on this angle. And if you don't get any of those and you don't see anyone, you can post up here. Um, getting really close to this line. To a point where you don't quite have the TP yet. Wait, I need to, <laughs> I need to place the TP with help, wouldn't it? Um, and obviously you won't place it there, but I'm just going to do it for the sake. So, you get really close. You get like really, really, sorry, really far. Um, yeah, there you go. So, so you can see, Here. you've got quite a long distance to look at, right? You can you can get this far, and if they are like currently in other parts of the map, if they decide to end B, or at least take some B control, then you have like a, essentially a free kill, and you can TP away. Probably wouldn't have your TPs here, you probably place them... So you'd have one here, but then you would also have... You can kind of choose where you want them. You can have it here. So you want to kind of be thinking about, like... Um, what would happen if uh, they were pushing me? Or what would happen if um, I know that like, I'm, I'm, kill, I'm going to kill a lurker here or something? So you kind of want to, like, think about what you want to expect. So, you know, I, I think I might um, they might want to push me after this. They might, might do a B push here. So I think I want my TP in a place where I can re-peek. Um, because they don't have any flashes, reveals, or anything. Um, I reckon I can just, like, repeat, get a kill, and it's over. But if they do have a bunch of ways to get onto site, then maybe you want to place it over here, because you want to be able to get out and play retake. Um, or maybe, you know, may maybe they have, like, once again, no reveals, no flashes, no way to get on site very easily. You can play back site instead, and, and like, hold down, maybe get two or three kills before going down, and make the ground really easy for your team. Um... That'd be like, and there's a market as well, market's also one as well. But m maybe, you know, maybe you're going to kill a lurker, so maybe you want to have like, um, DP, uh, like, really far back, like, maybe not there. Maybe, um, like, like this, right? You get a first kill, he's on the lurker, and then you can run now, um, as soon as you TP. So, imagine like, this, TP back, then you can run now, like both your TPs, and then you're already aim. Um, you know, also you can place one here as well, I forgot to mention. And so, you know, if they decide to rotate, then you can catch them in the cross. Um, is that too? Um, also, um, okay, no, actually, let's just go on to mid now. So the mid's fairly simple, you just place one here. Um, and then you can either go aggressive with it, um, or not aggressive with it. Um, you can also place the other trip. If you can have, like, an obviously, say trip, other rendezvous. Um, you can place it anywhere you want in mid, um, safe or not safe. Not um, but you can also place one um, around here somewhere, so you can place it here or, or probably not there. It's probably there, honestly, it's probably the safest bet. Um, unless you are playing, uh, you intend to play short, then you can play a place like this. Um, and then you have like sort of both options to defend from mid, so you can defend both mid pushes if they decide to walk up this, or they decide to walk up this, you have both. Um, you have both options. Um, and that's basically just mid, honestly. You can go aggressive as well, like I said. Um, you, you can play here as well. You can, you can play pretty much anywhere. You just place your trip here. You place your rendezvous here, and there you go. If you are playing mid, I recommend not pl placing this here. I mean, you can basically play, you can play with layers if you want to. So playing with layers would mean, like, um, so say if I put the trip there, um, look where it already is, the, 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 the um, I don't know what it's called, trademark? Trademark. Um, there, and you play aggressive here. You get a kill, and now you fell back. Now there's a, a line here, like, even if they go aggressive, they can't pass this without being noted, or without being uh, spotted, um, and slow, potentially slowed. So, you can play with layers, it's something very important for Chamber. 
Um, or it can be important for Chamber. Mainly not on Ascent, to be honest. It's not really big on Ascent since he's uh, two trap snuff. Um, because you would always, majority of the time, you're placing your trap here. Um, or sometimes you place it. Um, if I don't die in the walls. Um, uh, sometimes you place it here. Um, but that's very situational. Another thing you can do with uh, with the uh, actually we go, we go random views, random views um, in A and O as well, and then um, and then I'll do the traps. So um, and then I'll do attack. Um, so a good round of view I like to do is putting it in this corner, but just out, so like about here, um, because then I have this angle still. Uh, granted, it's worse than this angle um, because you're a bit closer. It's a bit harder for you to. Uh, well, actually, I mean, you can get away, but I think it's just easier for the enemy to kill you, to be honest. Um, they can swing you, you can't see them, and they, like, if they wide swing, then, like, you can't see them with this angle, right? Um, yeah, you can play far back, though. It's not bad. It's about the same as this, to be honest. It's not much difference. Um, but generally, if it's the same same deal as uh, as B, B main, um, where you can walk up. Um, you obviously need to be more careful of this area, so contrary to B main. Um, but you know you have all these like angles you need to clear. But once you're there, once you're here, you've cleared everything. You can sit in this corner. Okay, let me place another trip. So yeah, I can, or another rendezvous. So I can show you. Usually I, I can place it back gen, but um, back gen is a good one as well. But back gen is a good one, but um, you can do it some other places. So I'm sitting right in the corner here. I've still connected to my rendezvous, um, and I have this angle that they probably weren't expecting to be in. Although I will say that if they are aware, then that you do have a worse angle than them to fight at. Um, because they can actually just swing you and pre-fire you very easily. Um, and they will probably see you first as well with ping and all that sort of stuff. Very likely the swing is the, the peak's advantage on this angle is really bad. And they'll see you way before you see them. Or a fair amount before you see them. Um, but the idea is that you'll catch them off guard sitting this angle. That's the idea of this angle. Um, obviously you can play like this instead. Where... Um, I mean, they might even pre-fire this too, or pre-aim it at least. Um, maybe just play like in the middle of it. Odds are they won't be pre-aiming this. Um, but the idea still stands, right? You, you want to get like a, a kill, um, like fairly pushed up. Um, you're, you're, at the same time, you are giving information to your team. Okay. Unfortunately, my arm didn't want to work, and then I also went over a tiny bit of ascent and then it would it just it it wasn't recording um okay so i just showed you this rendezvous um just show you this rendezvous here um so you can get like a free kill off contact similar to what you were doing on b um and then you know i'll talk about where you can put like your second rendezvous so you can put one gen so this basically means you're going to fight on site because when you take this back you don't have any options to place another one until like obviously it comes back up, but then your options are fairly slim. You don't know like maybe place on here. I mean it's not really much different, or you place on here. Um so generally like a good option like to give you some more options, you can put one heaven. Um because then when you take this one when you TP back, you TP over here, TP back, you then have either the option to drop into site when when your rendezvous back up. So you can place on here and play gen again. Uh, or play gen like you were going to last time. Or you can, you know, rotate, you can go short even and place a rendezvous here and then you can watch across. They haven't come out yet. You know, you've got plenty of options. If they have come out, then you can still do this. You can just be, you can be short and then you can uh, break the door, you know, play a retake from short, you know. Um, and then, you know, if, if it goes bad, you can TP then uh, to heaven and you have multiple options. It just gives you way more options um, to, to TP here. There's also um, TP over here if you feel like they're going to... Um, come out um not come out if you feel like they're going to rotate um then um you will uh you know place one here or place one over here somewhere just place one really far back um it's not honestly it's quite similar to this it's not going to make it probably a huge difference especially in like solo queue if you're going to um uh, like place them like this probably won't make a massive difference in ranked so you know, I, I guess this one's probably the best one to do in most situations if you're not sure, if you don't have a good read. If you do have a good read, they're going to rotate or they play a lot of lurkers here or they play a lot of lurkers. If they lurk a lot of rounds here, then, um, you know, this would be a good option um, to place your rendezvous here. Um, or if they like to rotate, if they're very rotate heavy, then you can place one there too. Um, 
and then I'll just quickly go over short. So in short, you can just place one very, very normal one, place like this, um, and just play in this corner watching this. Um, and you can also, uh, there's like normal rendezvous you can do. There's also one in, in market you can pre-place um, from the start of the round. Um, and this means like if they come up short, they'll fight you. Um, and then, you know, you'll get one kill and then you can actually just uh, TP here. You'll take this back. But then you can also then flank um, very slowly through mid. If, if they don't have control in mid, if they like actually are pushing, they're executing and going in to, um, to the site. Um, through these areas, then you actually have like good grounds to then start slow walking. Um, wait, that work. Slow walking down like this, and you can get like another flank off, and they won't expect it. Um, okay. Um, the next thing I want to look at is really quickly some trips on A, which is very straightforward. I mean, it's just this, right? It, there's very, very rarely are you going to place any trips. If you do place trips, if, if I'm not sure if I went over in the video actually. Uh, because I don't, I think I definitely went over it in Valor Plant. So, if you have an Omen on your team, you can maybe ask them to play back mid, and then you can actually have your 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 um trademark for other other th other things. So on B, this can be um placing your trademark. Um, you know, if you like, say pushed up, um, using this one, then you can place your trademark here, and then you've got a layer very far. far you got a layer for B main as well. So when you get the first kill, um. Your TP away, so just quick place another TP. Your TP away, you take this back. Um, and then you'll also then have this layer um, of trips, like, are they actually going to execute here? And then you'll know, because this trip will be either triggered or not, right? So you actually have a bunch of options if you have someone to defend mid without your trip. Um, obviously, the trip is really, really good for just mid security, honestly. Um, and in rank, that can be, you know, doing things that your teammates expect you to do is sometimes just the best thing to do. Um, so you know, I wouldn't recommend it unless you can definitely communicate this, and your omen as well is also comfortable doing it. Obviously, it doesn't have to be omen. You can have some other other people that are good at it, but I think omen is literally the best one. Paranoia and smokes, definitely good with it. Um, I'm trying to think who else could probably Astra, but Astra's so so little. Um, she's seen so little, so I don't think so. Um, because she has like the stopping power, she can also influence everyone on the map as well. So she's probably the best option. In solo queue, very, very rare you see one. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do is go to attack, I think. So on attack, um, you probably want to be... So we'll, we'll go to attack B first. Say you're attacking through B, right? Um, you can just do one like this. Um, just a rendezvous there. Oh, you should do a rendezvous there. And then I can do a rendezvous here as well. I see this a lot too. I don't see quite this but this one as much because that's one I usually do. So then I would peak this angle like this. Um, not quite like that, but I peak it up. You know, I would clear clear main the way you do your own, the way you do in game. Um, and then I would sit here. If we were going to execute, I would just obviously be. I'll probably be smoked off uh, for quite a bit of time. Um, but then, you know, eventually when the smoke fades, I'll have, like, I'm basically trusting my teammates to get out onto site, um, and plant, and then I have, like, when the smoke goes down, I basically have potentially a free kill, um, very safely, unless I get flanked, which that probably means, like, I need to put a good trip somewhere, right? Um, so, I think you put one here, and near the start of the round while you're placing the rendezvous, um, before you place a rendezvous or after you place a rendezvous, doesn't really matter. Um, but like when the when the thing drops, basically when the the barrier drops, uh, you place one, you know, in here somewhere. Place one here. Um, it does get shot from mid. Probably place it deep in mid as well, like this. Um, obviously that doesn't actually protect you, um, because it's very hard to protect these rendezvous because of mid, because of sorry, because of uh, your spawn. Um, so you can't really fully protect them. So I usually protect them from from tiles, uh, mainly because. Um, if one if someone's here, like it's over for me anyway. Um, if I want to TP back, but you know you can also notify yourself that they are there, so you can you can place a trip here or something. Um, if you want to, I mean they they can still kill you without procking the trip. So maybe actually I haven't even really tried one like this. Could could try one like this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't quite reach. It looks like Envelope Plant it doesn't anyway. Um, oh wait, I mean you can place one here too. Actually, that one's way way better. I actually didn't. I actually didn't like test this out, but I guess you could, yeah, because it's basically the same thing. Same thing all the way up to here. Actually, you could basically just do this. 
And it also protects any A flanks from going, yeah, I mean, wait, I'm just learning, I'm learning on here with you. Okay, okay, I didn't realise that I could do it like this. I don't know how I didn't realise this, but I didn't. Um, the only problem is I still can get flanked from the more... I guess I could hear it if they're not if they're not running. I could probably if so if they're not walking, I can hear this. So I, I guess maybe this is actually the better trip for this player. Hmm. I had to test it, but it seems like it's not a possibility. So I would say either here or here, and do your own research basically, and I'll do my own and I'll get back to you. I guess um, maybe you'll see it on the stream what I decide to go with. Um. Okay. So after that, um. So let's say after that. So maybe there's different ones you want to do. So you can do one up here as well. Um, probably not in outside, you know, for the same reasons um, that you are potentially flanked if you're going to stay there for the majority of the round. Um, you know, you can come out more with this one. You can help clear backside a tiny bit. You can go out switch with this one. Um, lots of people also do save it for going out here. It is definitely more risky, but your teammates can make the space for you, and then you can have one, one like there or something, um, and then you can play a bit more aggressively on switch and find uh, angles on like uh, these players here. So that's good. Um, usually good anyway um, to do things like that. Um, when I flank through mid or just play through mid in general, um, I usually have um, a rendezvous set. Run, two run, I can't see rendezvous. What am I doing? I usually have two rendezvous just set up all the way through mid. So like this, right? So it's impossible for me not to like TP somewhere um, if I'm in, anywhere in mid, right? Usually, uh, usually they're still in like fairly safe positions. Um, and I usually go either through top mid if it's this is going to be smoked. Um, usually I go through top mid. If this is going to be smoked. Um, but I mean, you can go through you go through here as well. I mean, I literally place a trip there, so it's actually probably more efficient to go through that way that way anyway through tiles anyway. Um, I also don't mind putting a trip here eventually. I'm putting a trip here and here, but that's usually if I split a if we're splitting a or if I'm lurking through to go a. Um, so if we go in like through through mid, you know, I just want to. Either I'm taking the first fight, but like top mid, or I'm taking a fight on short, which you know, uh, there's also the A short one, uh, like this, uh, which I was, I say, I, honestly, I was about to say you've seen it earlier, you have not seen it earlier, it's just because it didn't press record, um, because I'm stupid, um, so with this one, you can take every fight on short, no matter what your positioning is, um, and still TP to your team, or you can TP in mid. The reason why. This TP, this is so. The reason why this can be risky is that this TP is in the middle of nowhere, basically. So you ideally want to smoke, um, and you also you want to place a trip, particularly like this. And the reason why you want it like this is because if if I had this trip, um, this detection radius is here, right? And they can basically already be fighting me on this angle by the time I know they're there. So it's probably best. For me to have, um, and obviously the same, the same goes for one on the other side too. Same goes, exactly the same. So I want one here, and the reason why I want one here is because it actually doesn't just warm me in this angle, right? So this is what it detects, right? It also detects all this, you know, but that kind of pointless anyway. Um, but it detects all this, right? And the most important part about this trip is that it doesn't just detect when it, within its radius, right? It actually warns me when there's a player here as well. Um, because they're going to have to shoot it to then not be detected by it. So then they can't move through this trip until they've destroyed it. And when they've destroyed it, I know where they're standing. I know they're going to be standing here, especially if we're towards A, right? If my team is towards A, I mean, obviously they won't be towards B. Um, but if they're, if they're towards A, I know for sure that they cannot have walked through here and done this. Especially if I look at the clock and it's like early in the round. I know for sure they can't do that. So I know for sure they're standing. They've took some parts of, a, of B main, right? And we have that information. I can relay that to my team. We can say, like, we don't have any B control. We barely have mid control. We may not. We may even lose mid control very soon. So we probably should start going there. Um, so that's kind of like a very important part about this trip in particular. You can place this or literally if you go A anytime, because um, it does give you big information. I would recommend someone B mid if you do this one because it does protect them in mid at the same time as well, and it doesn't protect the rest of A main from mid. So what I mean by that is that if they push through mid, it's not going to detect anything because it's over here, right? So they can get flanked. Um, so you want to uh, make sure that someone is mid with you, or not even with you, just, just mid with this, right? With this setup. Um, probably you, honestly. Probably going to be you. Um, and then we just go into like full A. Full A is very easy. Usually just placing a trip here. I've seen a bunch of trips being placed like this. 
Um, that's fine. I mean, this is fine for taking the first fight. Usually I don't take the first fight. I mean, you should have people that are more than capable or more than uh, willing to take the first fight there. Um, so usually I place trips like this or trips, rendezvous like this. Um, so then I have, I'm protected when taking any fights through main, any fights going up to switch. Um, and if I want to push um, through the door when I press the switch, I can. I can sit in this area and take fights here and take fights here. Um, also something I didn't forgot to say about the other ones. Uh, sorry, just backtracking a bit. The ones I forgot to say with this one is that um, generally this is going to be good uh, mid round and late round to lurk with as well. Um, so then, because if your teams are put, your team is pushing in here, um, then you can um, flank very slowly through, and then you're going to be catching. Well, well not very slowly, but um, like you should push with your team essentially, um, and you're just going to kill, and you're going to get kills on anyone trying to get this way, like through back through like a smoke, right? So there's going to be people like trying to run away from the thing, or they're going to be in this smoke, and you can kind of like. If they ever tried to leave this smoke this way or this way, you're going to see them. So you, you, you're very able to catch people off guard with it, with the setup too. Um, then I'll move back onto A, right? So I was doing this one and this one. That's fine. Very, very good ones. You can sit here, uh, sit even short, even if you want to. Um, play very, very safe. Um, if, you, if you don't see anyone and they don't see you, it, it, like when you're taking fights in this area, you can walk this way, sit in here. I actually haven't done this. I've only just seen it on Valor Pump, by the way. But it seems pretty good to me if if you're able to like if you if you took took the site fairly fast and you're fairly confident that someone's going to come tree and you can catch them on timing, can, killing the wall, then you can walk up and kill them in the back. Very very good for late. I actually haven't done it, but I I should honestly do it. That looks good. Okay, so that's the the end of the video. Um, if you liked the video. Give it a like if uh, you want to see more like this, then I should be uploading a lot more. So subscribe, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, you know, if you didn't like it, you can dislike it. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to. Uh, if you have the time to give me some feedback, always open to feedback. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.